I'm so torn by so much of this. Bro, because it's, at, it's at, crazy. How many Asian people were like, yeah, that was fucked up, dude. And then they went on with their days and moved on. Biscuits and tea. Rapid fire, 34, period, 99. B. Millie's got us uh, with a recap or with some controversial <laughs> news. Uh, what, what's happening? I don't know what's happening. Well, Willie J, let me tell you. Uh, we got a situation. We know uh, H3 Podcast. I'll, I'm just going to kind of quickly just explain kind of what's going on here with this. But uh, our our wonderful game, Fortnite, uh, right. have released um, some game functions that, you know, had Martin Luther King Jr. involved. And uh -oh. it was kind of, you know, trying to raise awareness. You know, I think people are trying to do the right thing, but raise awareness. Oh, as, that's a buzzword. As ex, as ex, as ex, uh, expected, you know, this uh, went a different way. Uh, oh, so no. H three does a pretty good job at uh, kind of highlighting it, but you can kind of skip forward a little bit, Arnold. So like, the Lincoln Memorial. Okay, so there's more, wow. but you get the gist. I just, yeah. want to, I just want to hear from your perspective how are we feeling about this. I I know what they were trying. This is part of the problem, but I, it's it's you know what? It's just interesting to see that there's problems like this in every everywhere because this is some whiteboard meeting of some guys who are like we gotta. They gave us a hundred million dollars. We got to throw, we got to throw black people in there. We got to throw a message out. We got to do it. So they throw it in there. I don't, I don't know, dude. I honest, honestly, Bro, I really Will, don't. Will, Will, look at the thumbnail right here. So the thumbnail of the video, it has Martin Luther King and the PlayStation logo slapped on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> so they figured it out. They figured, they figured it out. You see that? PlayStation yeah. savagery, dude. That you're making Martin Luther King a commodity. A commodity. Are we gonna have a game? Are we gonna have a game come out soon? Is there gonna be an MLK game where you just you walk it's, through? Like, are we gonna have that game? Maybe that should that could be a good game though. The GTA that would piss a lot of people off. A GTA yeah. style game where you go back. It's time. Like, if we want. That's the craziest thing, man. Is because the Martin Luther King estate signed off on it. Like, they are like, yeah, you can. You know, and I would imagine they probably thought they were just like gonna like include like an intro screen and like I had like the, the speech, you know, or something. And then they just like took it to a whole nother level. Like you didn't see some of the other clips, but it's like a Rick and like a Rick and Morty, the Rick character from Rick and Morty is on there, and he's like raising the roof while Martin Luther King. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. So that's showing the the thumbnail of that. You know, it's just where's uh? It's just ridiculous. They're oh my like god! Picketing. They're picketing. Yeah walking it around picketing and that's they take you like through like a you know yeah. segregated you know bathroom and things like that but they had the, they disabled the dancing like six days later but you know no it's impossible i get it i it's impo it's impossible so yeah that's yeah the, that's the gist so it's not gonna get any better uh that's only gonna i mean the corporations they figured it out you know you gotta, you gotta throw it in there. You got, you can't not throw it in. What would we be there's saying people, if they yeah. didn't? There's people arguing that people are saying that it's actually not a big deal and that everyone is just overreacting and this and that. It's like doing a lot, of, doing a lot of good and maybe getting a message out to someone who may have not ever got the message. But this has gone wrong before. There was something that happened in another video game and they were able to throw. To, it was in the article that I sent, but it was like you were able to throw the tomatoes at, you know at whatever the screen or whatever it was like it's a video like a game it's not real and yeah they were talking about black lives matter people were throwing tomatoes so it's yeah, just yeah. like there's always going to be something like it's going to get messed up with this kind of thing if you overcomplicate it yeah i don't know I think they should just give a certain percentage of your ads to like a black community or something oh you mean try and do something that would actually incorporate real change <laughs> no tyler like, you know, you, no you can promote you could you could throw your promotions on it too like look we gave this much to da, 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 da. no sir no no because that would <laughs> that would require <laughs> that would require actual <laughs> we we're like watching it's like who's this really helping I, like, that's, is... the, that's the thing it's never they they just figured out that we got to put it in there it's talked about and then you you move on
I mean, but, it's just the ignorance. It's like the behaviors of the players likely would have not been a surprise to Epic, who made the who makes Fortnite. Last year, the company streamed a Black Lives Matter panel discussion in the game, only to find players respond by using an in-game emote to throw tomatoes at the screen. So, like, this is literally, they've seen it firsthand go wrong, and then this is the latest one. Like, they just did this again with Martin Luther King, and they had the audacity to let the, you know, the oversight of letting players be doing all these super disrespectful dances during a time that, that's it's a the video thing. game, dude. It's we not should, real to it's people. Like, oh, we have to count on our education systems to teach this stuff, man. Like, if we're counting on Fortnite to deliver a message like this, then what are we doing? Well, it's not even that. It's they... Has everyone at the Fortnite place never been in, like, a live chat room for any game or played any online game ever and listened to what people say? Like, it's just... What, you really expect the gaming community to pool, like, in some direction like this? It's a lose. I, You know, there are benefits, obviously... But there's a lot of negatives you have to take into account, and the execution is completely tone deaf. So hopefully we get no. better. Hopefully yeah. we All get right. better. Go not. next. Next, we're supposed next. to be going rapid fire. Next. I forgot. <laughs> rapid fire. Uh, Zuma in here. Whatever it takes to have my baby. Jessica Alves <laughs> aims to become first trans woman to have risky womb transplant. Brandon comments. Um, I just want to. My first Hot thing that comes to my head is I want to make sure that. This is not putting a, a baby at risk. Am I hearing this correctly? I, you're hearing it correctly. I believe this is something that's been done before. Uh, and um, that's a, it makes me nervous. I don't want like someone's personal needs to then affect like deformities or something and a child that then has to live its life with those problems because right. of the complications. That's the only thing. Everything outside of it, if they haven't medically figured out, Go for it. I said that it had been tried before, but I, I maybe think it's not the exact same thing. What I have seen uh, is someone who was born and assigned the gender of male at birth, who then transitioned to female, who then, no, I'm sorry, other way around, assigned the gender of female at birth, Transitioned to male, but then through whatever, I'm not sure. I don't know if it was artificial insemination, IV, however, they became pregnant and carried the baby to term. And then, yeah. So, sorry, that is not the same as this. I do what not do believe. Christians think about this? What's the Catholic Church have? <laughs> What is the Catholic Church's stance on this stuff? Well, they've been really quiet about things. They're like, guys, we got past this last. Just we don't have to say anything. The Black Lives Matter thing happened. Let's just slide through this decade. <laughs> They're thinking 2020 happened, guys. We had a really rough, you know. Hey, everyone's the 2000s were about rough. the, the priests, yeah. you know, all the all those abuse. I mean, priests and the kids. Yeah, a pandemic and race wars. I mean, that'll that'll definitely help you out. Maybe they're just trying to just keep it, you know. Tyler, what do you think? What's what do you think about this? Are you yeah. have you been paying? Oh, uh, I if you're talking about their Christian church, uh, I think they're pretty busy in Texas right now. So I don't, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. All this, what's happening? I, they, I think they overturned. Was it Road v. Wade? Oh, yeah. that's correct, right? So it's yeah, it's I don't I haven't actually looked into exactly what it is, but it sounds like if someone gets an abortion after six weeks or something, you can go to jail for like ten years. Or some absurd. You go to jail for ten years. Wow. Something right. Some something like this. Number. Okay. All right. Well. And then is... they set up a hotline for tips to people no, to try to, to snitch, snitch on, on people, and then <sighs> whoever like finds them gets like some amount of money for no. <laughs> like. That kind of sounds them. like uh sounds like modern day like witch hunt, literally. Yeah. Like yeah, that is a. I mean, that's a that's almost identical to. Yeah what the whole thing was is that I saw this person practicing witchcraft. I saw this person, I know this person think, got an abortion. Yeah. I think if we're going to go this way, I think we just need to go like the full, like if a dude's caught jerking off and it's not <laughs> going directly and, you know, to produce a child, then I yeah. think it's he's killing. goes to jail. Yeah. He's, he's to killed. Jail. I wonder what those people, it would be fun. That's the type of person we need to have on B and T. I think that would be an ideal guest, a very, you know, I guess they wouldn't call themselves extreme but they are in most people's heads oh <laughs> religious extremists goodness. you know oh my God. the far it's, end it's a different point now like 
I, you have to avoid it here in Kansas or like with anybody who's conservative because that's the one thing that they'll back off on and they'll go at you, man. Like it's it's intense. Hot take. Uh, rapid fire, BNT, your boy, Elon Musk, the Tesla bot. I know you guys have heard about it. I just want to know if you guys are all right having a robot <laughs> in your house that would do everything. Now, wait before you laugh. Elon has been quoted as saying that the robot will be easy to remove or get off of you or pick up should you have the need to do so. Should you have the need to you know, if for, if for instance, if it attacks you for some reason, you will be able to overpower it. That's what he said. So I just want to know what you guys feel about that and when you guys would line up to have a robot in your house cleaning up and <laughs> let me know. I I it, they call it Roomba. Well, this can do a lot more for you. You can pick what up else? stuff. He can, can pick, pick up, up stuff, but he pick up and pick, move stuff. You can't pick you up and throw you against a wall. I. Listen, you can overpower. Elon has assured us. Okay, you just get your your politics stance out. You can overpower this bot. I wouldn't get one until it could cook. That's a good question. I'm not sure it, of everything that it can if do. It could, if it could cook like a nice meal for you, you just coming home from training, you just like I, have okay. this ready. All How right. sick would that be? All you right. just show up and then you just get... Arnis. Go to YouTube, type in Tesla bot, and just let it play. I, I, I think I will do everything in my power to resist having a, a Tesla bot in my house. Until, maybe they can work. I mean, we're looking for a robot slave. It depends how big your house is, too. Yeah. I mean, if you have an apartment, then like, yeah, no. If you had some huge house with a bunch of rooms. That You're right. It'd be yeah. maybe kind of nice to, you'd even just restrict it to like. Yeah, it's a few rooms or like... Yeah. So world built by humans for humans. Height 5'8", carry capacity only 45 pounds. It's, it weighs 125 pounds. It can deadlift 150. Oh it's my five gosh. miles an hour. And uh, the arm extend lift 10 pounds. So it can lift 10 pounds over its head or... I think that's like that. Arm extend. Okay, yeah. Arm fully extended. Like it can lift out shirt, 10. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Eliminates dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. That's the goal. Human level hands, lightweight materials. Yeah. All right. Well, B, what did you, what's your, what's your final cut? Yeah, I'm probably going to wait this one out. I'm sorry. Can you see that last? No, no, no. Go back, please. Look at the last point. Dojo trading. You can Excuse use me? this thing to train, to fight. So, I mean, are we all stupid? Like when these things are dojo what? training. You understand? Like it, it says dojo training. Dude, like, it so knows you're... how to. Literally, it's a fighter. It has the programming to fight you and kill you. I don't think that's what it means. Well, what is I dojo training? Like a, I think it's like a dummy. Like you know, like you can dojo train with that a dummy. Well, why don't you just get a dummy? Why do I need a? Why do I need a because robot? This, I think this one can like move a little bit. Uh huh. More. Move a little bit more. I see. He can move a little bit more until his 2.0 upgrade. Or what? Um, until until it can extend its arms more than ten pounds in a straight. You know how much you can lift doing this I compared mean, to. I, yeah, I, I, ten I pounds it. is like I don't know, man. Nothing. You saw you're underestimating. Like, they, can, they can build uh, those like weights into technology so easily now. Like, what's the tonal like things you can put up on your walls and like they put you can adjust the weight and it's like it's all in. I don't know how it works. I, don't, I have no idea, but like they can increase it up to like 150 pounds or something. <sighs> I also have to say, I guarantee the balance of this thing is just... Yeah, it's probably not good. You've seen, have you seen the, <laughs> the Boston, Boston Dynamics? Yeah, that would, you seen that one? You seen that robot? Yeah. It's gross. Yeah, looking. but that's like... Yeah. Which, the dog one or the... Ooh, the dog one is hideous looking. B, you know what we're talking question? about. I No, I don't. I just... When is this going to become a sex robot? That's that's all that really matters with this, right? They that's already have the, them. But they yeah. already have them, right? I just... Your, your question will be is like, it, are they planning on dominating that market as well like are they going to start calling it like some you know they're going to they're going to have these like normalized names for it like comes with proper human engagement uh material it's like you know different kinds of it's like coca-cola owning sprite like every single robot will like have a different purpose you yeah the, the sex ones and then the ones that you know mow your lawn and i actually i disagree i think they're all, i think it's going to be uh, all in one eventually oh, really 
Okay. Oh no. Yeah. I think the, I, I think the goal will be to replace. Yeah. It'll be a, it'll be a, I can carry your things, but I also have a human engagement, uh, capabilities. That's what they'll call it. Some bullshit like that. Uh, you know, oh, they won't say it's a sex creepy. doll. I know what that's, this is. I know that. that's you, from, yeah, uh, yeah. Black Mirror. Yeah, dude. I don't fuck with that. Those are scary as fuck. It's only 75K. Yeah, he's showing there. You can buy the dog for 75K. What would you do with it? Uh, Just, no like one's security. breaking into your house. Yeah, yeah no I one's breaking into your house. Use it as security. If you were, if you're at a lake house, you could put like a tray on it. It can go get you drinks. My <laughs> Tesla, my Tesla the, bot can do that. Down no, a little pier. Nah, <laughs> my, my Tesla bot can do that. All right, rapid fire. Rapid What's fire. next? Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Oh, this is still. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know about this one. This this changes things up. Afghan team killed in landing gear of U.S. evacuation flight was promising footballer. So this dude was a national team player. I read the article uh, on the U-16, maybe, or U-14 national team. And when the Taliban took over, he realized that the only way he was because they also, they tend to cut off sports and, and things like that. The only way this dude figured that he would be able to go pro since he was that promising was to leave and he hid in the landing gear and he died so taliban so like how, how do you like, how would you die in like that so it's he was in the plane. there's no insulation so you'll freeze like there's you'll freeze and also oxygen that's fixed there won't be enough. yeah there won't yeah, be enough it's not god damn dude did people do that and survive or do you i think that? rarely people survive I, but most of the times people they die, they die. Yeah. There's a case over England where a guy actually fell. He he survived. Well, sorry, I don't know that he survived, but he did survive. Sorry, I don't know that he survived. When the landing gear came out over a neighborhood, as you're coming into land, he his body he fell out and he hit. Yeah, so he was stowing away. That happened years ago, uh, and it was a I think it was a refugee refugee type situation as well so that's really messed up so that was uh he, where was he from again that's afghanistan where? dude this is a dude from yeah Afgan yeah, yeah afghanistan so i think he's probably from kabul you know old. that sucks man because like they're they have a pretty good team normally out of the iraq iran like all those countries are they afghanistan struggles a little bit more because iraq and iran aren't comparable due to the nature of their regimes they're way more powerful and way more stable even though they you know have some, some issues i mean it's not comparable the iranian teams do well in the asian champions league like they're no joke you, you go to Tehran and play some of those clubs. I think it's Persepolis. They're no joke, dude. Legit top of the top. Yeah. So for a player like this that was promising 16, like was he not on any of these big clubs radar? Uh, he might be too young. I mean, it's tough because I mean, who's going to take him out? Who's going to, who's going to, he's playing Afghanistan, for the national team. Afghanistan also has like the worst visa you can have. So you're going to have to have a club that wants to deal with all of that too. I mean, is there any exceptions and stuff like that for like countries that are going through? Yeah, and of course we played with, uh, I mean, Tyler didn't play with him, but uh, he's actually playing with Kai Kamara now. Mosa Yagubi. Yeah, he uh, he's an Afghan refugee, and then Tyler and I have another friend, Hobby. Shout out to Hobby, who I asked about this as soon as the Afghanistan stuff started started going down. He's just like, he said he was having flashbacks. If I read his text, he said it was, I'm, I'm having flashbacks to when I left, the gunfire being around and the parents being crazy. He's got friends there that are not making like it's just, you know, you just I don't know, dude. I wish that there could have been like you know. If you would have been maybe with the club or something, maybe they'd have to try to figure out a way to get him out. Or I'm sure there's lots of other players that you know got out. It's just really unlucky for. It sucks. A lot of players that didn't get out also they're hopeless. Yeah. They feel hopeless. Like what do you do? For sure. This... I mean, yeah. What do you? How do you? I mean, what are you supposed to do? Uh yeah, yeah. I don't know. Next. Yeah. Next. 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 R. Kelly overloaded with herpes meds. Disgraced stars doctor handed out constant prescriptions since 2007. I know you guys probably aren't up to date with what's going on with R. <laughs> Kelly uh, or Bill Cosby, some of these uh, prominent people, but uh, <laughs> I can't even take it seriously. I don't know what to say about this. Uh, his case is ongoing and... Um, 
there's a documentary out on Netflix. So you guys go ahead and check that out if you're curious as to how there's like insane. four million. There's like isn't one there there's the other one that was already out about R. Kelly. Or is this the yeah. same one? I mean he's he's a level of insane that I think we haven't seen in a in a while that's coming out. Especially like I I don't know. Have you seen the Boondocks episode with R. Kelly? I should have. I, I mean the Boondocks Boondocks is insane. I don't know. They have such they have such a fully wood with R. Kelly. I need to rewatch all of them. There's only like three seasons. I, I know, I know, there. I know. But God, was it on Cartoon Network late at night? Is that how I, because it's old. It might've been, it might've been Adult Swim. Yeah, I think it was Adult Swim, dude. I watched that like when it was going out. It's been years now. Oh, I okay. I have the last one, guys. And it it's going to, you'll understand it as soon as, uh, Arnest, can you look up um, Angels announcer, or no, announcer racist, Oh, 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 Shani, it's the Asian player we were talking about in the last podcast. A baseball announcer had a whoopsie. Okay, here we go. Now what do you do with Shohei Otani? Be very, better careful. <laughs> Is that a Bugs Bunny? What was, that sounded like a Elbert very, Fudd. Very careful. He's an Asian wow. player. He's an Asian player. Here, listen, folks. <laughs> Apologize if I offended anybody, especially anybody in the Asian community, for what I said about pitching and being oh. careful. To oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. What? What are you going? What do you want to say about it? I just like can't get the Albert Fudd voice. Like I just keep hearing because that's where, like what uh when he's hunting rabbits. Yeah, yeah. It's just you would like the way he says it. I. <laughs> He thought yeah. about that before. He thought about it before, right? You think he thought about that? And then he said, "I it. think that he might be something that just like came off offensive." No, I, I don't know. I think he like just brain farted that he was even commentating or something, and just responded with like the first thing that came to his mind. Oh my god! I agree. I think that was a that was a let's just keep it flying, you know? Let's just throw it out there. I, I'm, I'm so torn by so much of this Bro, because. At, it, it's that, crazy. Is it? I I, I want to understand where we're going with this whole announcers can't do it. They're so scared. We've we've got to be. We've put them in this little thing. Now I'm not saying for some of the ones that go so far out. If we put this ra ranking system here, we have to go. Let's go go one step further. Do we think this guy is racist against Asian people? Do we think he holds deep seated hate towards the Asian community. All right, so probably not. All right, but let's go. Uh, uh, you got to go to the, not one more. Is he ignorant? Is he possibly racist and ignorant? Like, does he have some ignorant beliefs about Asian people? Possibly. That he hasn't checked because he's not thinking about it because he doesn't hang out with an Asian community because he doesn't have any Asian friends. Is that possible? I, I think that he grew up in a time where like karate kid and that kind of stuff. I don't know. I think that if you look at that, I think a lot of that stuff would be in question nowadays. Maybe, I don't know. I just think that he didn't recognize that making fun of an accent was going to come off like that, but it's rough. dude. Listen, folks, uh, it's the same thing. as the last guy that comes back after the commercial break. And he has to utmost <laughs> respect. I want to just, I'm waiting for the guy to just, well, I think that was what, the the first guy the the, kid, the yeah. capital the the was that Kansas too yeah. was that Kansas, Kansas that City. was definitely capital worse. that was <laughs> that's that's a lot worse uh, for, for in sure my eyes than, for sure because that yeah that's like it's just so unfortunate because like Otani you know he had the stuff with Stephen A Smith saying that you know he's criticizing we talked about that on the last podcast saying that you know he got criticized. Uh, for you know, not using a translator, and then we got you know, two weeks later, we got a guy after that PR nightmare making fun of the it's the it's once again, it's like this epic games thing. It was like you can see it before, like, don't do these things, don't say these things, don't go there. Yet, in the moment when when it's just flying, that's what comes out. I think we're just seeing the true colors, and like, I don't know, we all know everybody. And, you know, what's acceptable in terms of joking and what's not, you know, but and who has the right intentions and bad intentions. But we live in a time where there's no tolerance for any of it. So you just can't. And I mean, that's how I've I mean, you just can't you can't make it funny anymore.
I, it's, it is insane. There's so much that can't be touched unless you can, it just has to be in a different setting. It's not over like a broadcast. Yeah. Exactly. This, they have to be neutral somehow. We decided that we don't want that. No, well, you could also, I mean, no, you could put it into a show. You could put it into like comedy. Like yeah. Yeah. Certain yeah. Things. You could do all that stuff. It's just, yeah. But who are the best, who are the best NBA, uh, side commentators? What are they called? Color commentator? Shaq? Charles Barkley. Uh, They're not commentators. Though. I think we're not giving comment- too much credit. I, I don't think that this was off the fly. I think all these oh, yeah. things that they. I think that <laughs> I think that he just missed. I think that he thought it was funny and he missed because all these color comments. They're not. They're not good. They're not like you know. I don't know. This guy was just one of the announcers. Like he's not like an ex player like Tony Romo where he's like able to actually like read the stuff or an ex soccer player or whatever. Like. I think they had these written out before, and whenever they have these players, they have these. <laughs> they like, had it written fun. out. I, think, I don't think yeah. he had this written <laughs> with an accent, and they say, think he's "Woody yeah. enough, dude." I don't think he's Woody enough to come up with. I think a writer gave him that, and then he said it too. Oh my god! <laughs> Could you imagine if they uncover if they uncover a scandal like that? Then that would be that would be interesting. Uh, yeah, Comedians so. that have to go down to. <laughs> Hi, yeah. All right. So that's uh, your update on America. The B team, we we appreciate you guys listening. Make yep. sure to pass this along to somebody who you want to make laugh or just you know inform them. Let me brighten their day. You know, this is uh, this is the kind of stuff that we need to know about and improve ourselves upon, and just you know learn from other people's mistakes. So uh, pass this along to somebody out there who could benefit. So I, I would agree. I just want to second one of your points about informing. This is uh, probably the most fact check podcast. Yeah. In the country. So if you do want to inform some of your friends and teachers even uh, yeah. uh, about truth, go ahead and send them this link, get them to subscribe, buy some merch, you know. Yeah.